Okay, hello guys. So um, this is the first video of this channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve static files in Next.js because for the documentation, it is hard to um, get your static files, and it is uh, the documentation is not very useful. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So first of all, we would uh, install, create a new Next.js um, Next project. So I've created um, a, a folder here. So I'm just going to open this up in Visual Studio or just open it in my terminal. And then um, I'm going to use the Next CLI. If you don't know what the Next CLI is, um, can find it here so uh, you can then install it so we first create a new um, next project to so see next new then the project name we'll see static Then we'll choose npm. Then it's going to install. So I'm actually going to skip or cut the video where the installation goes through. So I'll see you later. All right, guys. So um, the installation is complete now. So let's open it up. And um, I'm using VS Code, so you can open it up in any uh, IDE you want. So what I did was to see the into the the folder name so i'm going to open it up in just your code so here we have a new nest nest project so first of all what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to um, create um a folder here called public and then um I'm going to add like a few images in here. Which is it here? We have two images that I want to use as illustration. So first of all, here you can also um, use Malta in case you want to um, do like file upload or something. You could um, use Malta for this. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get those um, static images or files from your um, project and serve it up. So, I'm going to go to the app controller and the app service. I'm just going to split them into two places right here. I'm going to go to the app controller. So, this is just the default things. All I just need to do is uh, create an endpoint, a get endpoint for um, slash, let's say, um, files slash the file name. So, I'm going to say get file right so then here I'm just gonna say get file by file name and right here I'm going to accept um a few things the thing I want to accept here is the response which is going to be coming from uh it's going to be type of response from express and right here i'm going to get the parameter which is the file name give it file name it's going to be a string and then I'm also going to get the response. This time, this time is coming from next, 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 next. So I'm just going to return. Okay, I'm just going to return. This is the app service, which is the app service from here. Then the function name, which is this right here. And then passing the file name and then the response 
Here I'm just going to change the parameter to file name, which is going to be a string and then a response. Alright. So what it's showing here is it's defined but it's never used. Okay. So I'm going to save it and then um, I'm going to start my server. So this is going to start up my server you know what we do here now is to um, first of all I'm going to try to get the path to that file I'm going to say um, join which is coming from the path module built-in so I'm going to use the process dot CWD then the, the path from the folder because this this what this CWD does is to get the current project directory on the hosted machine and then I'm going to get I'm going to navigate through the public folder that's what I'm going to pass here that's going to be public then the file name so if I console or log this file path and then um I return I return press the JSON just something like hi for now and then I save that and I open up um other clients in um Visual Studio Code it's just an extension on in Visual Studio Code so rather than using postman so what I'm gonna do is to so, Go to HTTP 8000, then go to slash slash um, files slash the file name because that's the endpoint we did right here. File is okay, file slash file name connection refused by server. So, what's going on? See. Let's stop this server for now. Start the game. Okay, so um, I don't know why it's same. Let me see. Slash. Let's see. Oh, I think it's the port is not correct. I was trying to access it through 8000, but it's 3000 I was here, so I'm just going to fix, the, fix that real quick. And then now it should work. So, okay, file slash file name. Okay. okay so as you can see here you can see the file path right here so that's what the um, file path is gonna be so then if you try to put like um, something like um, slash image.png I'm send it okay it's gonna show us the path to that file so what we just need to do right now is just to um, send back the file. So we're gonna say return where is the send file, then the file path. I receive that, and then we try to access this guy, this file right here. Then I put the name, send. You see. You get the image right away so if we try this you could use this for pdfs word documents and everything so this is working far if it is um normal um typical express express file um express project what we do is we use the uh, middleware 
app they'll use but well, since express does static but well, since we're not using express it's having some issues and i try to check the docs but it's not still working it's it's giving some sort of error so 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 that's all you can try it with other app files it's very simple you can add more files to this and then try it and it's gonna work so yeah that's it for this video um please like and subscribe it will really mean a lot to me so thank you very much and um i'll see you guys in the next video